<laughs> I'm in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean today on the island of St. Helena. Now, St. Helena would ordinarily qualify as a hidden gem. Heck, it is a hidden gem. It's hidden. It's 1,200 miles uh, from the nearest landmass, 1,200 miles from the west coast of Africa. But the hidden gem I'm talking about today is a hidden gem within St. Helena, and that is the tomb of Napoleon. Now, for you history buffs, you know Napoleon's not buried on St. Helena. Now, let me explain. You see, Napoleon was exiled to St. Helena back in 1815 after his disastrous defeat, the Battle of Leipzig. We're now walking out to his tomb, and it's very pretty out here. It's an area they call the Sane Valley. Napoleon was buried out here for 19 years until the French moved his body back to Paris. So you'll be seeing an empty tomb. There is Napoleon's original tomb. Ooh, I didn't see her on the tour earlier. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to go over and introduce myself. You guys stay on the tour. Don't hit any buttons. I'll be right back. Wish me no luck. Well, that was a big nothing. Now I know what it's like to be buried in Napoleon's tomb. Uh, we're driving from the Napoleon's tomb to Longwood House. That was our driver, and he is taking us out to Longwood House. Napoleon lived in Longwood House from 1815 until he died May 5th, 1821. The most interesting thing, I think, is Napoleon's death mask, right here. St. Helena is a hidden gem because of its remote geography, and Napoleon's tomb on St. Helena because of its fascinating history. <laughs>